in a stack type CPU, the following instructions are executed where CPU has 8 bit ALU. Okay. Inside the CPU, this, uh, it has got 8 bit ALU, means it can perform 8 bit arithmetic and logical operations. What is the data at top of the stack after execution of following instructions? Right. This is the data given in the memory. A is the memory address of some data, B is the memory address of some data, C is the memory address of some data. Fine. So, for this set of instructions, you have to understand uh, what is the data presented top of the stack. Fine. So, first of all, you should know how this stack type of operation is performed actually. So, in the stack, how actually stack type CPU, how the data is operated. Fine. So, the instruction set are, let me just give you some basic concept regarding this so that you can understand easily. So, the instruction set architecture, the instruction set architecture can be classified into three basic types. One is called as stack type or stack based we can say. The other one is accumulator type. and the third one is general purpose register type. So, in this there are again two types, one is register memory, so it can operate, so any instruction can access uh, uh, memory as a as one, one operand in the instruction and other one is called a register register, register register. This was also called as load store architecture, only load and store instructions are used for accessing the data from memory and for all remaining ALU operations only internal registers are used for that. Okay, fine. So, now he is talking about stack type. In the stack type of architecture, you should understand that here the processor itself contains internally the stack data, something like cache memory. For example, let us assume that it is something like cache memory. So, inside the processor only the stack is there and the ALU is also inside. It means if you observe carefully, let us say this is the stack memory inside the processor, everything happens inside. So, ALU is present here. Let us take ALU. So, ALU is there inside the processor. Okay, this one is ALU and these are the two inputs. So, therefore, the data will be operated from top of the stack. For example, let us say the stack pointer is present here, some address location, whatever is address, right. <coughs> so, here uh, there are two operands, let us assume. Let us say operand 1 and operand 2. So, let us assume this uh, program. Uh, now, you have to think about this program, okay. Let us take like this. Say, you have to operate this program now. So, this is happening inside the microprocessor. So, here you should understand that this whole thing takes place inside the processor only. That is the main thing. So, first of all, you have to bring the data from memory into the processor. So, in the in the memory, what is the data given here? This memory is external memory, it is not stack actually. So, memory it is present outside, okay. So, this data is present outside. So, that is what you should know first of all clearly. So, in the external memory, from the external memory, this data should be first pushed into processor. So, this is A, B and C, some let us say, let us say some address is there. So, A, B, A is containing 55, double A and double A, okay. So, let us take like this. So, in the memory, so this is uh, 55, okay, it, it is some 55H is given, yeah, 55H and say this is how the memory is there, B has got some AA and C has got also some AA. So, this is some memory, C has got also some AH, like this, the external memory, this is external memory, okay, this one is external memory, this one is external memory and from here, this data should be brought into process. So, stack is there inside the process. Let us take some something like cache memory is used as stack, let us assume. So, here first of all, you have to put this data into uh, stack memory. So, let me consider like this. So, assume that stack pointer is initially here. This is the data at top of the stack. Let us say like this. This one is the data at top of the stack. So, always understand that stack pointer will point to the top of the data presented stack. What is stack? Stack is a part of memory to store temporary data and the value of program counter when subroutines are used. Fine. So, normally stack is meant for storing uh, the <coughs> frequently used, uh, st 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 stack is used to store temporary data. Okay, fine. Like for our uh, some temporary data in the programming. So, let us assume that stack point is pointing already to some latest temporary data which is present in the memory. So, this two inputs of the ALU will be from the stack only. Right. So, 2 bytes will be brought from the stack only and after the result, the result is stored also in the top of the stack memory. This is the current value of stack. So, now look at the instructions. So, A has got 55, B has got AA and C has got AA. This is external memory, you have to bring this into processor. So, this one is microprocessor, okay, fine. So, very simple. Now, tell me, 
push A. So in the stack type of architecture, the thing is that the operands which are present at top of the stack, only with that data, the ALU will work. You cannot directly bring the data from memory into ALU and operate. You have to bring first into the stack memory, then only addition or uh, any other logical operation or arithmetic operation is performed. So by default, if you write any add and whatever it is, they will be considered only with respect to data at top of the stack. That is the main thing for the stack type of architecture. Fine. Now, first, what is the first one? Push A. Push A means this data 55 is first brought into this location. So push A means how is the push operation operated? SP minus 1, SP minus 1, it is placed on the bus and this content A is brought to this location. It means that for example, if I write like this, this content A is first brought from memory into this particular location. So it is having 55H. Right, next one. After that, what is the next instruction? Push B. Push is to store data into stack memory. Push B. Therefore, stack pointer will be decremented once again. Stack pointer will be decremented once again to store this data. So SP minus 2. And the second data that is push B means this data will be brought into this particular location. It is brought into this location. Fine. Yeah. What is this data now? WH. Accepted. So the current value of the stack pointer is this location. This is the current value of stack pointer. Got the point? Yes. Now, after that, add. What is the meaning of add? Add means add the data that is present at top of the stack. Add the data that is present at the top of the stack. And it will perform addition operation and finally now tell me for addition operation how is the operation done what is happening in add for add what is happening add internally so what is happening for the add internal to the processor what is happening internal to processor what is happening for add operation automatically now tell me after the two pushes push operation this is the current value of stack point right fine so i'm just taking out this one okay so after that <clears throat> these two this is the current value of stack pointer let us say this is the current value of stack pointer for push or two push operation this is the sp value but for the next operation current value should be constructed from here only fine now after this after this these two data bytes whenever add happens the data at top of the stack is automatically popped into this alu therefore First data is popped up here. Let us say second is popped up here. First data is popped here means SP will become SP plus 1. SP will become SP plus 1. So one byte is brought here. Okay, first byte means the first byte, the double A uh, has been brought here. Okay, after first pop, it is SP plus 1. It is automatically done by the processor. It is designed like that. Second one, second byte is brought here. It means SP becomes SP plus 2. It means initial stage only. So this is also popped here. Let us take. So this is also popped here. 55 has come here. Now, this addition operation is performed. Addition is performed. So this addition is performed. After that, after that, tell me after first one is brought here, SP has become here, SP plus one. After second data is popped here, SP plus two. Then means the current value of SP is now at this location. Current value of SP is now at this location. Are you able to understand? To make it simple, I'm pointing out with different colors. Right. This is the current value of SP after these two bytes are popped here. Right. So this is a pop operand one. This means operand one and operand 2 are automatically popped by processor are automatically automatically popped into alu popped into alu by processor so no need of doing that it will do automatically the alu into processor fine after adding the result also will be replaced at the first place so result will be replaced here again top of the stack only it means this data this data is replaced at the top of the stack at this location just to make it clear i'm writing the with the other one so at this location data will be again popped it means in the uh, first data only the, it is overwritten by this value answer means sp is currently here now after these two are popped up, after the addition of, uh, after these two are popped up here, SP is here, right? So this data will become now SP, SP value becomes SP minus 1, it is placed on the bus and finally this is the current value of the data present at top of the stack after addition operation, after addition operation. Are you able to follow? Yeah. Are you able to understand? Right. Now this is the current value of SP, understood. Next, what is the next one? So now add it, what is the answer now at this place? What is the answer now? So that you'll understand freshly, I'm writing other way, other place, so that you won't get confused. So after add, what is the answer at top of the stack? I'm just writing here. What is the value top of the stack? I'm just writing here. What is the value at top of the stack? Tell me what's the value, how much it is? 
uh, add these two, add the values 55 and AA, add, what is the value, answer it, uh, I am just writing here, the sum after the addition is 55, 55 and AA, what is the answer, A plus 5, 15 means F, A plus 5, 15, F, so FF is the current value at top of the stack, so top of the stack content is FFH, this is the current value of SP, are you able to follow, yeah, next, now, the next value is, <coughs> yeah, after that, this is the current value of top of the stack, means FF, F, I'm just pointing here, so that it will be uh, uh, simple to understand or else it will it'll be confusing. So, at this location, current value is FF, fine, right. Next one, what is the next one, push, uh, what is the next one, uh, the next instruction is push C, after that push C, what is the value of C, double A. So, now the current value stack point is here, so now it is double A, push C means C content, I'm just writing here, so that you can follow easily. So, C contains how much? Double A. Push double A. Push means it is operated here. That is double A. Fine. So, what happens? How it is transferred? First, SP will be SP minus 1. Then, this is transferred. So, what is the current data top of the stack? Double A. Right. Now, observe carefully. What is the next one? And. And means perform and operation between these two data in the ALU. Now, if you observe carefully. So, this is the current. After the push C, this one is the current value of this is the current value of stack pointer. So, for a push operation, SP is minus, for a pop operation, SP is plus, generally, right. So, now, the current value of SP is here, Think, right. Now, observe carefully. Pop, what is that? Uh, sorry, and, and is given. What is the meaning of and? Any ALU operation, it will be performed only with the data at top of the stack. So, again, these two are popped up. Again, this and operation is performed, and is performed, and result is again stored in the first memory location only, result is stored at this particular first location only, that is the meaning, okay, fine, these two are popped up and the SP value will be here, for example, there is some template here, so now tell me, for AND operation, how it happens, very simple, first one, this AA will be brought here, double A is brought here, next one, so SP becomes, SP was here, after the first pop, when you write AND, when you write this AND operation, AND instruction, that is automatically done on top to data, so these are the top two data bytes, right? So, first one, for when you write and, the first one is popped here. So, SP becomes SP plus 1, it has come here. Again, second byte, this FF is brought here, FF is brought here, right? After that, SP becomes SP plus 2. Are you able to follow? The current value of SP is showing this one, some temporary data, whatever it is, don't worry. So, what is the and operation? So, hence the program completes. So, what is the question he's asking? He's asking what is the data uh, at the top of the stack of the fo for the following instructions. So, very simple. Now tell me, it takes uh, time for explanation, but operation is very easy. So very simple now, what happens here? Perform AND operation of, what is the AND operation of these two? Tell me, FF, what is FF? 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, AND operation. Question will be logically given. Uh, next one, AA, what is AA? AA means 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, that is a binary pattern, accept it? Right. So perform AND operation, you know AND logic? So what is AND logic? Output is high only when all the inputs are high. If one of the input is 0, output is simply 0. It is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So, output will be 0 if one of input is 0. Output is high only when both the inputs are high. So, very simple. Now, you tell me 1, 0 is 0. It is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Simple logic. Anything that is performed and with F, Anything, this one is 1, 1, no? Very simple. Now tell me, if one of the input is high in the AND logic, whatever is the second input, same thing will come. If one of the input is high, whatever is the second one, same thing will come. So blindly you can tell that, if you perform any data, FF means all ones, no? If you perform any data with the F, F means all ones, any data with the F, the same quantity can be simply copied here. That is what you got. You got the point? That is the meaning. So, in AND operation, if one of the input is high, whatever is second one, that will be the output. That's all. So, AND is used for masking, switching logics, right? Masking means if one of the input is 0, there is no meaning for other. If it is 1, whatever is second one, the same thing is obtained in the AND logic. Are you able to follow? Yes. So, it is generally used for masking in the real-time switching logic. So, what is the answer now? Double A. Now, compare the options. Very simple. What is he asking? The answer double A is one's complement of A. Wrong wrong, double A is one's complement of A, wrong, answer is double A, how it is one's complement, 
it is two's complement of a one's complement of a is something different so it is already double a one's complement is different no wrong two's complement of a so two's complement of a is also wrong you can check it a means 1 0 1 0 one's complement will be 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 two's complement is you should add one so what it becomes 0 1 1 1 0 yes that is 1 0 1 0 this is becoming 5 6 wrong so it is not double a that is wrong and since double a you have to compare this this is also wrong third one one's complement of memory content that is present at address b tell me what is the data present at address b he is telling that it is one's complement of this one one's complement of this one answer itself is double a answer itself is double a how it can be equivalent to one's complement of this one one's complement of b is 5 5 no already we have done here 5 5 so that is wrong this is also wrong one's complement of memory content that is present at address a so this is memory content that is present at address a so what is there at address a 5 5 so what is the, that must be the correct answer because there is no option left right so you can look at this double a 5 5 and a are once complement to each other i told you no question is logically given so a a means 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 its once complement is 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 so what is this value how much of it is double 5 that is the correct answer so d option is correct one. okay so the question uh, for explanation it may take time but it is very simple to understand how to operate so did you understand the question very simple stack operation is performed the stack type will perform alu operations only inside the process stack whatever is there so we let us assume something like cache memory is used as stack so only top of the data is operated uh, for the alu and result is also stored in the first operand place so that is how the operation will be performed is it clear right so the answer is the d1 that is one's complement of memory content that is present at address of uh, address of uh, um, b address of b yeah, address of a this one so a contains double five so one's complement is double a that is the answer you got okay fine so question will be always given in a logical way that is what you should understand clear right <clears throat> i hope you have followed this